A few months ago, Notion has released Team Spaces. In this video, we're going to go through the functioning of Team Spaces, how and why you should use them or not within your organization. Let's get right into it. Notion Team Spaces are mini workspaces within your workspace. The main use is to compartmentalize your content within your broader Notion workspace. So they are quite useful, especially for organizations with already a predefined structure composed of departments, for example, where you can compartmentalize your Notion workspace and manage access levels more granularly. When it comes to team spaces, you have a bit of a difference between whether you are on the Notion team plan or the enterprise plan. In the enterprise plan, you have the ability to make a team space private, so only accessible by a certain number of people. Whereas in the team plan, you can't make a team space completely private, but you can restrict access significantly, although everyone in the Notion workspace will be able to see your team spaces. Let's dive into it and see what an example team space looks like and what you can or you can't control on team spaces. The first thing that you can see here on this Notion account, and this is the Notion workspace symbol right here. And within this Notion workspace, you can see I have two team spaces, one called general, and that's a drop down menu right there and one called templates, and that's another drop-down menu. So fundamentally in Notion, team spaces are drop-down menus, inside of which you can have one or multiple pages. And the first page that you have on your drop-down menu is the landing page of that team space. And you need to have one team space that is your default team space. That is, whenever you invite a new member in your Notion workspace, they have access to at least one team space by default. And so that team space needs to be somewhere where people maybe can understand more about your company, your organization, or what this Notion workspace is for, or it is not for. So in my case, the general team space is the default one. So to access settings of team spaces, you can click on the three dots here next to one of them. And for example, if you want to look at the settings for the general team space, I'm going to click on here. And you see there are four main tabs in here. So the first one being the general tab. And that's where you have your name of the team space, the icon that you can choose on the list here. You have a short description of the team space, if you like. And the second tab is for members. And here is where you can make a team space default or not. But you always need to have one team space that is the default for your Notion workspace. And here you can add members. And you can also control the access level of members. Because I'm the only member of this Notion workspace here, you will see some restrictions. On the permissions tab, you can control whether this team space is open, closed, or private. Because this is my default team space, it's always open. So I can't change this. And then here, you have the ability to choose what access levels team members have on this team space. And so in this case, you can choose, can edit, can comment, can view. And these are the same access levels that you have in a regular share menu on the Notion page so far. And on the security tab, you can control whether you want to disable public sharing of pages, disable guests access or invitation, or disable exporting of the Notion content. And these security tab features are only available for the enterprise plan, which is what I have in this example workspace that I'm showing to you. Now, if, if you look at now, if you look at the templates team space that I have here instead, it has a lock icon. And that means this team space is private. You can only make a team space private if you are on the enterprise plan, because that's a very granular access level that is only available for enterprise plans. And so here you have the same exact features. Here you can add members, you can control the access levels of people. On the permissions tab, here, you see that I chose private, and so only the members can see this workspace. So whenever a member who hasn't got access to that team space will navigate here, they will not see the template team space because it is private. If it was closed, which is another access level that you might choose for team spaces, right here, if you notice, there is also closed, then anyone can see but not join. And for the security features, they are always the same. And that's essentially how team spaces work at a fundamental level. The main use case is to compartmentalize your Notion workspace properly and manage permission levels more granularly. So one 
very frequent use case of team spaces in organizational notion workspaces is to separate your departments, namely having one team space per department. Then you can manage your access levels in there better. The every department has their own notion team space, but they can focus on only their own work. Another potential use case is to create client portals. And that could be especially valuable if you have the enterprise plan and you want to create custom portals for your clients to follow the work that you do for them. Then you might use team spaces to have a granular management of access levels at the team space level for your clients. At the same time, using Notion's team spaces to create client portals would hinder your ability to have a master database and then using linked views. Instead, if you want to share your work process with clients using team spaces, you would still need to separate your databases. And so there is that trade-off where you would create different databases per client. And that wouldn't allow you to have a master view where you have all your tasks across every single client if you work with many clients at the same time. And that is the trade-off that is still present in Notion. And that is one of features that is very requested, especially by agencies and freelancers who want to set up simple dashboards or client portals for their clients without compromising their ability to see their tasks and their projects centralized in one place. But for now, that is not available yet. And we'll see in the future what we might have or not have. And those are team spaces for now in Notion. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments. There's also a full post that I wrote about team spaces about one week ago. You can find it in the description and see you soon.